Hey everybody, the book I wanted to share today is called What Do Authors and Illustrators Do? And uh, it is told in two parts. I'm going to read the first part today, What Do Authors Do? I'll read the part about illustrators another day. Uh, I love this book because I think it's a really fun and accurate introduction to how a story idea can turn into a real book. Okay, so let's just get started. What Part one, what do authors do? Authors get ideas for books at the strangest moments. Rufus, bad dog, run Max, woof woof, hiss, hiss. Run, Rufus, Max, stop, help. And you can see it's turned around and now the dog is not chasing the cat, the cat is chasing the dog. What got into those two? No one would believe this story. Story, a chapter book about Rufus and Max, a picture book about Max and Rufus. When authors have ideas for books, they start to write. Sometimes it is difficult to find the words. There was once a dog who chased a cat. No, Rufus was a dog who liked to chase. That's me. Once upon a time, no. A cat named Max made friends with a dog. Max was a famous cat. He was, no. Every day he, that's me. Some authors write notes about what might happen in the story. They make lists or outlines. One, dog chases cat. Two, cat chases dog. Three, dog jumps into wagon. No, dog runs into woods. Four, cat follows. Five, terrible storm. Six, dog rescues cat. Seven, lost in the woods. Eight, a long trip. Some authors who write picture books are also illustrators. Sometimes they sketch as they write. The sketches give them ideas. One, dog chases cat, then cat chases dog into pond. No. One, cat likes to chase dogs. Two, walks around town looking for dogs to chase. Three, trouble. There's the cat. That's me. Sometimes authors, oh, there. Sometimes authors need more information. How good is a dog's sense of smell? Why do dogs chase cats? What would a dog eat if he were lost in the woods? So they go to libraries, historical societies, museums. They read books, old newspapers, magazines, letters, and diaries written long ago. They take notes. Rufus, bad dog, how did you get in here? No dogs allowed in the library, Rufus. This is an interesting story. Cat saves family from fire. They interview people. They take more notes. Where do you find these dogs? We found that dog on a freight train. Do you remember the cat who rescued people from the big fire in 1940? I remember that cat. I was in high school. They listen and watch. You ever seen that cat who lives in the movie theater? You know, the author's like, oh, and then he's watching Rufus. They write and write and write and cross things out, throw parts of the story away and start again. Sometimes authors read their stories to their families their families make suggestions. I like the part where the dog finds the cat. The cat in your story is lucky. He lives in a movie theater. Sometimes they read to author friends in a writer's group. The friends make suggestions. My story is about the adventures of a dog and a cat who travel around the country on a freight train. My story is about a dog chasing cat who ends up a hero when he rescues a family from a fire. Sometimes authors get stuck, so they put their books away for a while. But usually, when they're doing something else, they get unstuck. The first author says, wow, and the other author says, that's it. Then they start to write again. Authors who are also illustrators make a dummy of the book to show how it will look with illustrations. And that's what this illustration shows. So this uh, um, author illustrator has cut out part of the manuscript and taped it over here onto the page and is showing how, where's the type gonna go? What, where are the pictures gonna go? And she's made like a whole um, mock-up of the book and that's called a dummy. It can take one year, two years or more to finish writing a manuscript. When the stories are finished, authors send their manuscripts to publishers. 
the writing is finished, but it isn't a book yet. What do they have to do next? And they both say to each other, good luck. Sometimes they wait for weeks or months to hear whether the publishers like their book. Have you heard from your publisher yet? No. Have you heard from yours? I hate waiting. Me too. Most authors have received rejection letters. Some rejection letters are encouraging. Some are not. And they both say, those publishers don't know a good book when they see it. But authors are very persistent people. They work on their manuscripts some more. They send their manuscripts out to other publishers. His book is more exciting now. Her book is funnier now. Authors are very pleased when they find a publisher. They want my book. Whoopee! They love my book. But that is not the end of writing a book. There is still more work to do. Authors have to sign contracts, agreements, with their publishers. A book about me. I'm going to be famous. They have a lot more work to do. Authors go to the publisher's office to talk to their editors. Authors work on their stories with the editors. Editors suggest ways to make the stories better. The ending is confusing. Different wor word here. Wrong. A lot more work to do. This is a terrific book, but I think chapter one needs more work. Grown more work. The authors make changes, but I like chapter one. I could change chapter two, parts of chapter three. I'll add something here. You'll love my new ending, Max. Changes, 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 changes. Do you think they will ever finish their books? After the authors have made all the changes, designers decide how the book will look. They choose the size and the shape of the book. They decide which type styles to use. They design the cover. Remedy Double, ITC Bookman Light, Center Italic Galliard Bold. Designers working with editors choose illustrators for the books. I've chosen a terrific illustrator for your book. Can I tell him how I'd like it to look? No, we let illustrators decide how to illustrate books, but it's my book. Can I send him a photo of my dog? Okay. Picture book authors who do their own illustrations go over their artwork with the designer. The designer makes suggestions. Make the colors a little brighter. Oh no, the cat in this picture is too big. Another mess up. She sure knows how to draw cats. I hope our illustrator knows how to draw dogs. It can take four months or more to finish all of the illustrations for a picture book. When the illustrations are finished, they need to be checked to see if anything has been left out. You forgot the cat's whiskers. These illustrations look great. The dog doesn't look like me. Looks better. When the story is set in type, it needs to be checked for mistakes. R-U-F-U-S, not D-U-F-U-S. I said G-O-O-E-Y, gooey, not P-H-O-O-E-Y, gooey. Doofus, I'm glad he saw that mistake. They spelled my name S-A-X instead of M-A-X. Don't forget the dedication and or the author photo. I want to dedicate my book to someone I really like, to someone who will appreciate my book, to Max with love, to Rufus, a real friend. After the authors have sent all the corrections and changes to the publisher, they won't see their books again until they are printed and bound. Maybe I should have rewritten chapter five again. I should have redone the last picture. It's too late now. Anyhow, your last picture was great. Chapter five was terrific, so stop worrying. When do we get copies of the books? Eight months, maybe a year from now? Eight months, a year? What is happening to those books? They have to print the pages and make the covers. When the designers have finished laying out the words and the pictures on the right pages, the author's books are sent to printers. Uh, the printed sheets of paper go to the bindery where they are folded, gathered, trimmed, stitched, and glued into covers by huge machines. And this shows that. So it says uh, the printed sheets come out here. Big sheets of paper go in here. So they go in here and come out here. The books are printed on huge printing presses. Most of the time, all of the pages of a picture book are printed on one big sheet of paper. Thousands of copies are printed in a few hours. Not even a few hours. It takes even less than that. Um, this is this says folded signatures come out here. A folding machine folds the printed sheets into booklets, which are called signatures, and they come out here. That's two signatures. 
The signatures are gathered and stitched together with end papers by another machine. The outer end papers are glued onto the cover. The pages are glued into the cover by a, a casing in machine. The books are finished, thousands of them. They are packed into boxes and sent to the publisher's warehouses. Copies are sent to the authors. Now that the books are published, it's a good time to celebrate. I hope everyone likes our books. They'll love us. But authors start to worry. How are people going to find out about their books? Are people going to like them? I hope someone buys our books. I hope our books get good reviews. Magazines and newspapers review their books. Some reviews are wonderful. Some are not. They like my book. They don't like my book very much. This magazine loves my book. They gave it a star. Authors tell people about their books at schools and libraries. They answer questions. How long does it take to illustrate a book? Don't forget the whiskers. Where do you get your ideas? How long does it take to write a book? They autograph their books at bookstores. I like your other books too. Will you sign this for me and my cat? But more important, authors are thinking about ideas for their next books. I think I'll write about a terrible snowstorm. I think I'll write about a blinding lizard. Okay, so that's the first part. And the next time we'll read about what illustrators do.